Hello, this is Juan Delgado. Um, and now I'm just going to talk a little bit about the cubes. You can construct a cube based on a box. You can order it. If, there, if you're a teacher and you have a lot of students who are interested in doing this project, you can order these um, boxes from Amazon and you can get a package of 25 of them uh, for a really reasonable price. You could also make your own out of things around the house. A 4x4 four four is quite good. Just cut it to the dimension you like and make sure you sand it so you don't get any splinters. Um, you could also use things around the house like an old cigar box um, that is the right shape and that you can use to use all six sides in interesting creative ways. Uh, many of us have received boxes in the mail to because of uh, the way we're shopping now and so maybe just recycle something around the house. Uh, what's wonderful about concrete poetry is that uh, we like to use a lot of different common projects uh, or common objects I should say uh, around the house and so see if you can recycle, renew something. You can also um, create your own box uh, out of paper. Uh, here I made four squares and I did about three and a half inches. You can make tabs so you can then glue it and put it together. Um, this might be also helpful when you're designing. If you want to collage, you can kind of have a spatial sense of how you're going to put your um, figures or your drawings and see if they're going to fit across and how they might play out. Remember, you can also use QR codes to send us to a, to hear a song or to have a digital uh, audio experience connected to your cube. Um, this might be a great layout to say what things might fit or not fit, kind of, you know, storyboard or kind of play around to see, you know, what would be the best combination of things for you as you start mapping out your, your cube and your artistic vision and the different words you might put together. Now, for my workshop, I depended on a couple books to assist me. One of them is the Anthology of Concrete Poetry by Ed Emmett Williams. It's a wonderful introduction to concrete poetry and you can see there are many different types of poems here you can see all the different playful ways they're using font and words um, and this would be a great starter uh, you could probably get it at your local library or you can see a lot of wonderful copies or examples of concrete poetry online i provided a link um, on my podcast and also on the written text I also highly recommend Raising Creative Kids. Um, this is a wonderful book uh, targeting parents and helping them uh, how to you know, encourage and assist their children to be more creative. Wonderful advice um, and a lot of practical things uh, that will help you as a parent. Here are some two books uh, from well-known uh, psychologists that give you new ways of thinking about art and then I highly recommend this book from Laura Rondon on pedagogy, the art of teaching, especially for teachers or people who have been put in the position of teaching for the first time. This might give you a wonderful way to think about the child in a holistic way. I found this book very helpful in terms of how to deal with the ethical issues of teaching young children. So, um, and there were other books that I used, but, um, I, that's a good start if you're interested in kind of understanding the theoretical underpinnings of the workshop. And I think now the fun part is kind of figuring out what materials you're going to use to construct your, your cube, um, what poetry examples you might find that will be useful, what images you're going to be using. You can use cloth, you can use paper, paper mache. So I hope you have a lot of fun and experiment with your cubes.